Hello, everyone. I think we're live. Messages <laughs> 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 uh, about Hangouts going away. I have to click them all off. Here we go. Okay. All right. Yes, we're live. <laughs> Yay. Hello, hello. Good morning. We're glad you're here. So today oh, we're, the topic is the three Ps, paint, paper, and print, but uh, we also forgot play. So it's really yeah, that's, important. That's definitely part of the whole mix, right? Yep. Hi, we Kathleen. Love it. <clears throat> we have someone joining us. My my throat is being very weird this morning. So if I keep clearing my throat, I'm sure it's going to drive you guys crazy. But um, we are going to do playing with paint, paper, and maybe some printing. I'm going to work on my Art Joy of Sharing July mood board project with this mood board inspiration and i've got paints and collage stuff and i've got a little printing plate for the printing part and uh, that's what i'm going to do what are you going to do peg <laughs> right now i'm trying to mend my paint um i don't know if you guys ever have these issues but um i was pulling out some paint to work with today this vivid has been sitting around a bit and I was shaking it to get it to mix and you can see what's happened. It's all separated. Well, not only does it separate, but the pigment is so hard that you have to dig it out of the bottle. So that's what I did. I dug the pigment out of the bottle, poured it into another cup because the fluid is still there. So I'm taking my palette knife and I'm mixing it up because it's still, still very liquid paint. And it's still lovely colors. You know, you can see it's lovely colors. This one actually breaks down into something that has not just copper, but kind of a bluish tinge to it. Um, blue gray, like um, Payne's gray. So I want huh. to use um, some of these today, but you know, when it comes out of the bottle like this, this is the kind of thing that you have to do. And I know a lot of you get discouraged because you feel like you buy a product, you spend a lot of money, and you have to throw stuff away. Well, I'm not throwing this away. I am taking it out of here. I'm mixing it up, pouring it back into the bottle, you know, because that's got a lot of good paint in there, right? And uh, I cleaned out the cap as best I could um, so that it would come through the squeeze portion of the bottle and it's going to go back on there but what i want to do what i want to show you guys today is not this <laughs> <laughs> hey hey we got people coming in what i want to show you today is what i was doing last night um i had been making some tools you know when we have paint and paper and we want to play, uh, we need tools. So what I had done is I had all of these uh, pieces of foam, all right? And you can get them in little thin sheets you know, at the craft store where you have to layer them up to get anything. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four layers on this one. This is a thicker foam piece, which I like to use and um, you can actually, I think I ordered that on Amazon. And these are not sticky back. I actually used some um, Tombow Mono to put those on with. So that was something, but you know, I created these plates that I'm gonna use to print with on my gel plate. So yeah, that's kind of fun. Have you guys done that before? Let me know what you're thinking here. Hi, hi, I need to say hello to people. Check oh. out what's going on here. We got a bunch of people coming in. We've got, let's see, Kathleen and Sherry and Janice and Sybil and Vicki and Barbara and Cindy Bagley and yay, hey, Holly's wow. here. Holly. <laughs> Love to Paula. take Paula is here. Terry is here. Hi, hi. Good morning, all of you people. So glad you could make it. So I'm going to gonna try to set my piece over here so I can read the chat. Maybe I can read the chat. 
<laughs> I feel like looking at all of the looking at all those people rolling in that we might have actually got them trained. Hey, <laughs> they finally and they, we finally are uh, at the right time every time, and people are realizing that we're going to be here. Same bat time, same bat channel. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm uh, working in my small dilutions journal. This is the five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just starting by putting some color on the paper by using my little square. Oh, I really need to do something about my camera. My little square gel plate. And I'm in, being inspired by this very pastel uh, purple, blue, pink type of a mood board that Peg set up this month. And I'm just, I'm going to fill up my page with those types of colors. All right. So I've got pastel -y colored uh, acrylic paint. I also really like this grid down here at the bottom. You know, I'm, I'm a fan of that type of stuff. So I think I'm going to make some of that type of pattern as well by using a comb on my plate. This is a homemade comb that I made using a gift card type situation. Yep, those are fun. I've got some that I, you know, you go to the dollar store. I'm a big dollar store fan, can you tell? I go to the dollar <laughs> store and I buy those uh, rubber spatulas and utensils. And uh -huh. then I cut them up for um, gel printing. Yep. Because you can, you can just take your scissors and cut right into the edge of these and make a texture tool, you know, and, you know, you think about the catalyst tools and how much they want for these in the art supply. And then think about what you can do with the dollar store stuff. Yeah, yeah. I can spend a lot more money on paint if I do this. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so. So I'm just getting some paint out on my plate and then. Um, I want to do a little squish and twist with need some more paper out here. Do a little that squish sounds like a dance move. I've run out of space on my desk already. So I take my plate like this and I'm I put it on here and you just you know jiggle a little bit to set it into your design. Pull it up, now you've got a design there. Gonna use a different one on this plate. Cause hey, I'm a two-fisted plate <laughs> gel printing girl. A little twist going on with that. And I think I'm gonna start by printing on some black paper because you know i love contrast so the black paper is coming out Trying to read what they're talking about. Don't get caught, Paula. <laughs> what are you up to, Paula? <laughs> okay, so let's see. I've got texture in that print. And the texture in this print. And then we'll set those aside to dry for a little bit. And we'll come back with some more stuff over the top of that. And I'm just going to add a little more of this lighter blue. Uh, I think we have uh, Terry. Did we say hi to Terry? Welcome, hi, Terry. Dad. Good morning. Welcome, Daisy. I think everyone else is just talking. Yeah. Oh, Paula's uh, working on Excel spreadsheets, so she must be at work. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. why they're saying don't get caught. 
<laughs> yeah. Don't get too absorbed here. Of course, some people can work from home. I, I think I'd like that. I wish that we had that when I was younger, where you could just go work from home. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that these days. My daughter had a job like that where she could just work from home. It's like, how do you rate? How'd you get so lucky? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go to another plate. This one is smaller, but still effective. So I will put that on and squish a little bit. Move it up here, line it up a little bit, squish a little bit. Squish and twist. Squish and twist. We gotta make a song, huh? Like we did last summer. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more. Come on, come on, baby, now. Squish and twist. <laughs> Okay, they can tell what generation we're from now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I know songs from much, much, I'm a, I know much older songs than I actually am. Just all depends on what your parents played when you were little. Yeah, that's true. Well, uh, yeah, my parents, Roy Rogers. <laughs> 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 now they know what generation you're from. <laughs> yeah. So I've uh, made just uh, my first layer of acrylic paint. This is going to be a multi-layer art journal page today. I mean, it's going to have all kinds of stuff on it. I've got plans to put this and that and another thing. So I did that with this little square plate, and I did do some texturing with uh, my little homemade tool. The next thing I'm going to do is collage, and I've collected up. I know you're all so shocked. I'm going to collage. Oh, my gosh. I know you just can't believe it. <laughs> I'm so shocked. Um, I've got some different stuff here that I've collected that's all uh, got those same type of colors from the, the mood board. Got some flowers. I've got napkins and uh, just different stuff. i got something that has that kind of grid pattern on it. These are bits of napkins, bits of scraps of paper that's been printed or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I think I'm going to use this Americana decoupage napkin glue, even though some of this isn't napkin, but some of it is. So we'll just see what happens. Go for it. See what happens. Yeah. It's going to have layers upon layers upon layers. This grid thing is just, um, you know, of all the things that are on the page, this grid thing is like the thing that I'm focused on. Oh, there's grids. Ah. <laughs> That's kind of how it works. Hi, Scrap Chick. Oh, I don't know Scrap. I don't know her real name. Scrap Chick. Scrap Chick. She loves know. your background so far. No, well, thank you. <laughs> it's probably all going to get covered up. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Yeah, this is probably all going to get covered up too because this is just the first layer. What can yeah. I say? That's the way it is. Yep. Yeah. Don't get attached to anything because it's all going to go away. <laughs> <laughs> But I promise it'll work out in the end. And somebody, well, a couple people have commented before on my videos on my other channel, like describing their, the way they react. It's like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, no. What's she doing? She's going to ruin it. Oh, no. Make it stop. Oh, oh, okay. That looks, oh, all right. <laughs> like, sorry, I'm giving you a heart attack. I didn't mean to. So with the napkins, because they're so translucent, and especially when you take apart the nap, you know, you need to take apart the napkin and just get the first top ply with the ink on it. They're kind of translucent, so you can see 
some of the pattern coming through as I in the color that I put down. That's the reason that I did it. Is there's color underneath. So when I'm using this neutral color napkin like this one, you can still see here's blue, here's you know pink, here's purple. So it's just adding a layer of visual texture and not necessarily any color, although there is this big section of gray that I wished wasn't there. But there is some gray on you know this mood board, so it's all good. It's all good. That is a cool pattern. I like that. Yeah, it's it, it's a, a napkin that has um, Paris monuments on it. Yeah, it's a cool napkin, but um, yes, it is. You may have give, might have given it to me, Peg. Oh well, maybe I don't know. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> I think it has Octatron on it. Um, um, I did have some like that, but I don't know if that yeah. particular napkin is. I gave you or somebody else did because you know we get happy mail. I like happy mail. Get lots yeah, of cool we have. Stuff. I have like an extensive napkin collection. <laughs> I got from that. Really, really cool. One time we did like kind of like a round robin type of a napkin exchange with some friends. I got some really cool APCs this last month. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, whoever else sent me an ATC. <laughs> I've only received two of them, I think, so far. But they're pretty. Yeah, I'm really expecting nice. more to come in because I did the ATC flunk with Stencil Girl group. And I haven't gotten yeah. one of those yet either. So we'll see. Let's see what comes in. Oh, that did not pick up. All right. I can fix that. This napkin does not want to separate. It's being a jerk. My husband's killing me. He's bringing tomatoes in the house and he's bringing fruit flies with him. It's like, oh, I hate fruit flies. <laughs> okay, you so silly napkin. I've had enough of you. I'm ready to tear you up. You like oh, them oh. Now that I've got a few with some color on, I think I want to go to the metallics. Let's see if I got enough in this cup. See, there's where it got lumpy. I'm just going to take a palette knife and try to mix some of that pigment in because it's good pigment. It's beautiful color, but hey. What a mess. I remember being very excited about those when they came out. And now that I see you messing with it, I'm not so excited. Yeah, you know, I'd say go with a good paint company like Golden or, you know, Liquitex. Somebody that's been in the business for a long time. Yeah. You're going to be much happier. Deco art, you know, I don't have those problems with deco art. Nope. But I was really excited about the metallic colors and. Yeah, because they were so metallic, -y, but I guess yeah. maybe they just put, to get that much metallic, they put way too much pigment in and then it separated. And it just does not stay bound with whatever binder they're putting it with. Yeah. Which is a shame because it's beautiful yeah. stuff. It really is. So I'm going to use my catalyst tool to start with and just put some random designs in here. Because I want this to um, want this to show up over those other prints that we made. Oh, yeah, and then I'm rolling over it with my chair. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's this print. You can see it's got a lot of shimmer and stuff on it already. 
So I'm just going to put that coppery color right over the top of that. When you do that, are you going to say, hello, lover? Oh, I could. <laughs> I could just say, oh, you're so gorgeous. gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, we'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty. And grab this other one. <laughs> My calendar is blowing up over here. What the heck? That's what happens when you have warnings on your phone. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. Gotta say something silly. Come on. You can do there it. There we go. Like those. <laughs> so that uh, it almost granulates in whatever that medium is that they've got carrying it. I don't know. Different stuff. Hi, Judy. Oh, Welcome. Good. And then this other Vivid got really thick. <laughs> she says she never sees napkins. She lives in the middle of nowhere, so the only napkins she sees are the fast food joints on the highway we oh. when she's on her way to some populated area. <laughs> yeah, I recommend you do a, a napkin swap with some friends because you will get the stuff that they have in their region. And you can send them some uh, of your special... Fast food napkins. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Shell. Nothing. I'm just laughing. That's funny. So some of the best places that I found for napkins were like Tuesday morning and uh, IKEA. If you have an IKEA in your area, they have great napkins. Um, and Tuesday morning is really nice. I've, they have a lot of nice printed napkins there. Yeah. Or if you're in a different country, servettes. Yep. <laughs> Not called napkins. Transferred on the one I rolled over. <laughs> yeah. Napkins are so nice to just keep layering and layering over each other because you keep getting that pattern underneath coming through plus adding an extra bit on the top it's like nice i can still see there's three layers right there i can still see the grid i can see some purple peeking up and then now i've got this uh lighter layer over the top with some more floral pattern it's just it's just fun i like to do it yep Well, and that's the beauty of collage. You decide you don't like something, you just put some paint or something else in another layer over it. So let's see what else I've got here. How about this one that has this? Oh, I color. like this color. This is a um, Joe Sonia Chroma, and it is, where's the name on it? I think it's Mulberry. Yeah. Oh, Blackberry. Blackberry. It's got a purpley undertone, but it's grayed out. It's nice. So we'll just get a thin coat of that down and then take a catalyst tool. Let's do a No, I've got this other tool. This is something I just picked up from the hardware store, I think. Or no, no, this is M on it. Must be making memories. Okay. Must have been from the scrapbook store. We've got a used uh, store that carries crafty stuff. And you take your stuff in there. And 
So when I see a tool like this, I'm saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one had two layers of napkin in the middle of it. Crazy stuff. Separating napkins all day. I'm going to print that one here. I received happy mail one time from someone that, and they sent me napkins and they had already separated them. And I was like, you are a princess. You rock Maybe and roll. Me. I don't have to do it. <laughs> well, I do that when I'm shipping because I don't want to pay for the shipping of the excess tissue. Well, that's I true. Everybody's got tissue, you know. There, finally got what I wanted out of that. Dreamy. Thank you, Judy. Who knows what's going to happen? Right now, it's just just uh, collage <laughs> and paint. But things are going to happen to it, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't know if this is going to take me an hour and a half, though. It's going really fast. I guess this book isn't very big, actually. But there's only, after this, only two more pages, and then this book is going to be done. And I'm going to do a happy dance. I need to do some more with more this green. This is more of the month. It's going to be... In the green family. In the green family? Mm -hmm. That probably looks yellow on screen. You know, the, the screens never really pick up the color that you want it to when you're videotaping. Definitely not. Or the quality that... Yeah. It's low pixel quality on the video, yeah. always. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty. I had a plan where I was going to do something, but now I'm like not so sure I'm going to do it. That's what happens when you make a plan. Yeah. <laughs> Never works out the way you thought. <laughs> oh, boy. I've got stuff on the back of my I think I need something right over here, though. Maybe. What can I find to put over there? Let's see. Give me a little piece of paper, paper. Okay. I don't know if this napkin stuff's going to work if you did on paper, but. Yeah, that works. I think it'll stick once it's dry. Never actually used the napkin collage medium on regular paper before. <laughs> I do have a little bit of this and a little bit of that that I could put on here. Some of this. That's kind of cool. I like that one. And you say that's blue or green? I mean, that looks very it's, yellow. I know it looks very yellow, but I mean, it's a it's a high yellow green. It's uh, what color is this? Hmm. Okay, no name. Oh, it's on the bottom. Lemon grass. Oh, lemongrass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a very yellowy. Yeah. Sort of green. But I think I need to add a little green gold to that. Can't go wrong with a little green gold. I think I need one. Come on. Thank you. 
green gold and phthalo green yellow. Phthalo green yellow. Good choices. Ooh, that one needs to be used up. A goober. <laughs> Yeah, green, I don't know why green is not a, a color that I usually migrate towards. And I like green. I like the outdoors. It's just not my first pick. How about you? Do you use green a lot? Um, I would say that I tend to go towards the, um, like the blue-green type colors, like teal yeah. and turquoise and those type of colors. Yeah. But I do really love green. So. That is a gorgeous color. <laughs> this is getting pretty busy. That's what I wanted. Busy, busy, busy. And work some more on this side. Maybe a little piece of this. Yeah, I'm definitely in love with the turquoisey colors. Yes, they are lovely. Let's see. I've been here for about a half hour now. I think I might end up switching up what I'm doing. I've probably got enough papers for board. I try I try to split up my time between projects. Because otherwise I could spend the whole hour and a half just printing. <laughs> I could. Yeah, the three Ps were paint paper and print so you could of course just print all day and that would would cover it <laughs> yeah but i should probably do more than that because i have the projects another p projects yes you guys have projects what kind of projects are you working on guys tell us tell us hi marie I like to work back and forth between the background colors too. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but I do like black a lot. Stop squeaking, Cher. You're driving me crazy. My chair is like squeak, 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 oh. squeak. Oh, now see that green on the black makes me happy. So we just need a little metallic in there. To brighten it up. I think I'm going to need some of this pinky pink, pinky pink, pink, up here, and then I'm going to be happy. Yep, that makes me happy. Whoops. So, how many of you guys are part of our Facebook group? Sing out. And are you doing any of the challenges? And what challenges are you doing? And what do you like? There is no challenge I don't like. Just saying. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's the middle of the year now. And it's time to start thinking about what, what are we doing 
What do people like? What do you want to do? But we do a lot of challenges. In case you guys don't know, we do pick a stick challenge, which is an art journal page, a tag, and a ATC. Yep. And that's pick a stick challenge group. Then on Art Joy Sharing, we do the mood board. And what we do each month changes from month to month about, you know, what what we're working on. Like in June, you guys saw us do uh, artist trading card a day where we were doing artist trading cards every day for the whole month. So I just like to know what you guys like. What do you do? What groups are you in? What do you? What's making you happy? I'd also like to know if you're enjoying the contributing artist program and art joy sharing, where we've got videos coming out on topics every month. Like this month, it was color cues. We had several people do their take on what that means to them. A lot of them talked about the color wheel and color theory and stuff like that. We'd hey, like to know if you're enjoying that. Uh, Tara is asking about our Facebook groups. Can you drop links for me if you're still around? We'll put them in the description down below too but um yeah it's uh art joy sharing and uh pick a stick challenge pick a stick challenge yeah barbara says she loved the color theory videos that was helpful for her good good yeah that's that was this month they were working on um color you know we were talking about color um, because I have a whole bunch of artistic friends that are wonderful at sharing, they do videos and they share their time and talent with people. So there are a bunch of videos out there. Shell did an excellent one about, um, skin tone. So if you haven't seen that, go find that video. Now you can search hashtag color cues. And it will come up with some of the videos because we all put the hashtag on our video. So yep. it should come up with different ones. So we do do I'm use these uh, grid stencils. Yeah. These are some of Mary Beth Shaw's favorite stencils. Some of the very first ones she's designed. And um, there's three different grids in the pack. It comes together three different sizes and I saw her using them on one of her live streams. I was like, okay, all right. They're just stupid boxes, right? No, they're not. not. They're very <laughs> bad of it. Grids are very important. Had to have them after yeah. that. So I'm done with collage. I'm going to go in and do some more paint, paint, paint with uh, these grid stencils. I just need something to apply the paint. That would be good. How about a sponge pouncer or a brush? What do I want? Maybe a brush. Maybe a little brush. Yeah, that'll be control. That's what I want. Control. You want control? I want control. Okay. I'm just going to put some of these same colors. I got a little bit of white for a neutral. I'm going to bring in that same sky blue. I'm just going to put a little bit on my palette. Tiny little bit. Don't want to waste. And then this uh, light rose, light pink, basically. So I'm still going with this same mood board, which is very pale. And then this lavender is slightly darker than I want, so I'm going to probably mix that with white. Doo -doo -doo. And I'm just going to, because of the way this, this is, this grid on the, the mood board, I'm just going to go in and just kind of go from one corner of the grid with one color 
and then go on the other corner of the grid with another color. And we'll see how that looks. So what if I do it? And this little makeup brush gives me the control to do that. Oh, some of my glue was still gluey. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that because it's kind of subtle, but We're just trying to figure out when things were happening. Today is Thursday the 25th. So next Thursday is the 1st of August. And what you're going to see coming out on the 1st of August are the picks for the month on the Pick-A-Stick Challenge. Yep. So if you're new to the group, watch for that. Um, and I'm going to tell you, it's a lot of fun. This month, uh, I was able to draw the sticks this month. We we alternate between Shell and I, who draws the sticks. And um, the video will be coming out next Friday for that because I've already done that page. So she already knows it's fun. <laughs> so I'll just give you a sneak peek of what the page is and then you can watch for the video in the uh, challenge to come out. But here we go. See, there's a quick pick. <laughs> quick pick. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get a tag ready because I need to do a tag for that challenge also. And these are those um, number ten size Manila for that tag. And, you know, when you guys come in and watch this live, a lot of times you guys get to see things that, um, yeah, aren't out available to other people just yet because you're our peeps. We share with you. Um, so I'm just I have a funny video coming out tomorrow. I guess I could give you a sneak peek if you really want it. Well, yeah. Hello. <laughs> I really want it. Yes, I do. Sneak peek. This is uh, tomorrow's video, Friday the 26th. That's all you get. <laughs> and then, speaking of things that are going on, um, I don't even think Shell knows about this one yet. Um, I'm doing a video hop on Saturday with a bunch of my friends. So watch for that because it should be a lot of fun. Um, it's all about their passion for art and they, they've all taken a different slant on it. So, you know, no matter what you're interested in, there should be something there that should kind of tweak your interest. Yep. I haven't heard of that one. Well, you were a little bit busy this month, but I'll catch you next time. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing i'm doing on friday is also a video hop so yeah um there'll be multiple videos on that one yeah hops are fun because then you get to see maybe some people that you haven't seen before yeah you get a lot of variety of different ideas when you scroll through all the different people you're like oh 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 well that's different so yeah a lot of fun and a lot of fun to participate in too yeah i enjoy them well it is because you get to know other people that you know maybe you didn't follow or didn't know that much about you might have run into them on occasion but um it is interesting to see what everybody else is doing yeah, this one tomorrow is going to be crazy. It was a concept of somebody from, uh, oh, what's that called? Uh, well, that was your tool thing, wasn't it? Yeah, the collabor what's that? Creative Arts Collaboration. Uh, somebody yeah. posted in there that they wanted to do this thing with, um, it was called the Secret Gadget 
challenge collaboration and everybody sent someone else a gadget and i don't know what any of the gadgets are i haven't seen any of them i had we couldn't tell what they were and so i sent someone one and then someone sent me one and then you had to make an art project in video with what you received so i think it's going to be crazy it's going to be crazy I have no yeah. idea what it, what we're gonna get. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm pretty happy with my background. Probably gonna have to dry this sucker. Yeah. Use my quiet dryer. It's got so many layers of goop. So while I've got the tags out, I figure I might as well just go ahead and glue up some of these for backgrounds. So I'll um, get a few tags ready. Tag books are fun to make too. And these are these number 10 are bigger than your average tag. So they're kind of nice for that. I don't know. I got these on sale someplace. We're in this clearance aisle. <laughs> Barb says, sounds like a lot of fun, Shell. Hey, Peggy. Yeah, I think it will be. Um, I want to. I want to see what people did. I want to see what they got, and I want to see what they did. <laughs> because who knows what an art gadget means to someone, you know? Marilyn said the color theory was very good. We've got some people piping in that they are members of the groups. Um, yes. Some are doing some of the challenges. I love doing the ATC challenge. Um. Yeah, we keep you busy, don't we? <laughs> Just so you guys know, coming up in November, there is an art journal every day challenge with one word prompts coming up. We picked the prompts already. Yeah, and honestly, we're, we're trying to get ahead because both of us have things going on in our life that are unpredictable. If so, you follow us on Instagram, we typically post about that prior to starting that just as a reminder so you know yeah. we'll, out for that. we'll post the list of prompts and stuff at you know the end of october or whatever yeah just so that you guys can get a head start because you know you're our people <laughs> you follow us we share with you okay now the fun starts aha Okay. That's the next big one, the next big challenge. Yeah. I mean, we we have ongoing challenges every month. Yeah. In both groups. So, I mean, don't don't feel like you don't have enough to do cuz I'm telling you, we got plenty for you to do. And if you think up something that you think would be fun for the group, just message us. Just let us know. All right, let's do some. I do like that green. Why don't I use that more often? I don't know. Why? <laughs> because there's so many colors in the rainbow, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's see. What color do I want to do now? How about that one? That's pretty. Is that dry yet? Almost. I think I better let that dry a little bit more. Okay. Gotta have, gotta have something down here that's a little more dry. That might be dry. Almost. Except for that end. Oh, 
Oh, you got a show this week, Barb? That sounds cool. She she does quilts. She does lovely quilts. I'm good if I just get something on fabric. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get a quilt done. I did make a bag one time. I think that was the extent of my fabric stuff. I want to learn to crochet because oh, easy. I just have never done it, and um, that's weird. That looks weird right there. Anyway, you get to get <laughs> Vicki Brown on that. She's the crocheter. Well, what I want to do is I want to make some market bags with Plarn. And oh, yeah. Plarn is uh, taking your, you know, all those plastic bags that we get from all the stores. Yep. And turning them into a yarn. And then you can make baskets and market bags and all different types of stuff. There's all kinds of patterns out there yep. with this recycled material with crochet or knitting. And I really, I like that concept a lot. I want to, I want to do something with all those bags. Yeah. Well, crocheting is the easiest of the two. Is it? Yeah. Knitting is a little bit more difficult, or at least for me it is. Um, and uh, I taught my daughter, I sat down one afternoon and taught my daughter to crochet. And she was off and running. She went out and started looking up patterns on Pinterest and was on a roll. Well, that's awesome. So it's something you can do, Shell. I know you can. Well, I'm sure I can. I just need to learn it. I just haven't taken the time to learn it. <laughs> but I'd really like to have some market bags that I can carry to the store and and you know other people are making them out on Etsy and I, I looked out on Etsy to see and they're like oh thirty nine dollars for this thing that cost them nothing but time and I understand that I understand it took a lot of time but I think I can make it on my, oh yeah by myself oh, yeah. yeah well I mean their time is worth quite a bit but when yeah, you definitely. can do it yourself then you just tell yourself you got to get off your duff and do it. So I'm reading the comments, and Laura is saying that she can help you, Shell, with that. Um, okay. Barb I'm sure there's a video. Let's big show is this week. Uh, Laura says crocheting with plastic is hard on your hands. That, you know, that's one of the problems I find with some of that stuff. Um, I used to do a lot of uh, cruel embroidery and all of that kind of stuff, but my hands don't do that type of work for a long period of time anymore. I, I would make lamp work beads and, you know, you're sitting there with a mandrel and you're twirling it. And, um, you know, as we age, we have to find things that we can do that accommodate for our age and our eyesight and our hands and everything. Um, so I turned to paper crafts, right? Yeah, but that's bad news. I, I don't. My hands get cramped up really easy. Yeah, I gave up because uh, I did basket weaving too, and having your hands in that cold, wet water all the time because you soak your reed. You know, you uh -huh. soak your reed when you're weaving. Um, just got to be too much. I'd get these aches in my hands, and I just said, "Okay, that's enough of that." Cross stitching. Peggy does cross stitching. Cool. Well, I used to do that when I was a teenager. Yeah. And What's my mom would stuff? sell the stuff at craft fairs that I made. I haven't done that in a long time. We all evolve through different crafts as we go. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's the whole thing. Crafter? Yeah. Is there a craft I don't like? That's my problem. That is my yeah. problem right there. I just got some new molds to do some resin with. Oh, I want to do resin too. Yeah. Well, I've got 
I've got the resin. Now I've got the molds. I just need to make the time and do it. And, you know, I, I have a lot of jewelry making stuff, so I've got bezels and things. So why I'm not mixing my resin and, you know, using up that stuff, I don't know. How much did I live to by your house? <laughs> Helps if I put it down the right I way. would come over and we could do all that stuff. Yeah. Let's oh, just move over what? here, Jill. Just move over here. Or maybe I need to move there. You're you're warmer climate. <laughs> yeah. You should come over to this nice warm climate over here. Although, you know, one of the benefits here is that you're not tempted to go outside and do other things because it's so crummy out. So <laughs> <laughs> you just stay in the basement and crap, right? Yeah, true. It actually was fairly nice this morning, but the humidity is up. And I don't do well with humidity. I mean, even when it's 50 degrees, if the humidity is up, it's still miserable. I don't like humidity either at all. See, and you don't have any of that out there. And I'm thinking, no, that might be kind of a good thing. Actually, humidity is up right now here, too, because we have monsoon season. Oh, it's been right um, but that's not that big a deal. It's not super crazy. How long does that last? That's just basically like one month, maybe two. And we haven't been having big, big monsoons, which is unfortunate because we really need them. But the last two nights we've had one. And the funniest thing that happens when the monsoons happen is we have these frogs that only grow during monsoon. Oh, yeah. And they hibernate the rest of the year. And so they are croaking and croaking and croaking out there. In the middle of the night, you're laying there and you wake up and it's like, rah, 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 rah. I'm like, okay, the frogs are out. <laughs> I love frogs. When I was a kid, we always went to Minnesota to go fishing for my my dad's vacation. You know, I always call it my dad's mm -hmm. vacation because we didn't go anywhere where the rest of the family wanted to go. We always went Minnesota fishing for dad. And so uh, we'd get up there and I was fascinated with the wildlife, with the frogs, the turtles and everything. So I'd get up early and go out on the lake and go swimming. And um, I'd find some creatures, you know, the frogs or the uh, turtles and stuff. And I'd take them swimming with me. Because they were just small. So you take them out in the middle of the lake on your hand, you know, and they can paddle around with you. <laughs> <laughs> the frog whisperer. It was fun. That's too big. At least I wasn't feeding them to the fish. I had to hide them. I had to hide them from other people because they probably would have wanted to cut them up for bait. Oh, gross. Well, the life of the fisherman, right? I guess. Oh, okay, Sybil. Have a good week. She's got to go to work. Work. Ugh. Gross. Yeah, Barb, post a, post a picture in the group of your uh, plastic bag stuff. I'd like to see that. Oh, she's been doing it? Evidently. I'm, I'm just reading the chat. She was talking to Laura and they were going to share photos and I'm saying share with everybody. Judy likes machine piece quilts. Oh, nice. My aunt makes gorgeous quilts. And she just got 
uh, a free arm or she's or she's getting or just got a free arm machine that's like an older one but oh. um, a friend or relative can't use it anymore yeah so she's getting it she's very excited because she takes her quilts she pieces them and makes all these beautiful colors and everything and then she takes them to be quilted uh -huh. because she doesn't have the free arm yeah that's what my mom and uh, aunt did i've got some of my mom's quilts and i was gonna i've got a quilt rack i need to put up because i was gonna hang those i've got it's like a six or seven foot quilt rack I need wow to Yeah, you know, you go to those craft shows and the guys are making all kinds of beautiful woodwork things. And I saw one of those quilt racks and I said, oh, I need one of those. I have a hanging quilt rack um, that my uncle made. A lot of my uncles are really good wood crafters. Mm -hmm. They make cabinets and I mean, they make everything. Um, in fact, the one that the ant quilts, the uncle is a woodcrafter and both of his sons are because they, he taught them and they're really good. But All right, I need to draw some more. So I drew some branches because um, you know this, this has a branch with some white flowers and then white flowers in her hair. So I drew some branches and drew some uh, flowers and painted them in. Now I'm going to draw some more flowers over here on the rest of the tree. The rest of the tree is feeling neglected. So you can see what my drawing looks like in real time because usually I'm going at, at super fast speed. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody really wants to watch drawing in real time. Well, because it'd be three hours of watching us do stuff that was really boring. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know some people want to see how to do things, but, you know, when I'm cutting something out or slapping some paint on something, it gets boring in a hurry. Yeah. If I was doing a tutorial on drawing, I would do it slowly. But when yeah. it's part of another project, it's just like, yeah. Well, which is why we do why we do these things live, which is an hour and a half each week. So mm -hmm. if you guys have questions or whatever, you can ask your questions here. But then we do the speed up version for those people who really don't want to spend their time, you know, watching the step by step. Yeah. And in my on my channel anyway, more people watch the speed than watch here. Yeah. So, but then my channel is all about speed videos, so they're used to that. And yeah. That's um, I get a lot of views on those speed videos. Well, I understand when people are busy and they have a number of different things that they want to see and do. You know, mm -hmm. you can't spend three hours. They're not like me sitting in the basement doing nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> and I can spend three hours, you know. Although my time has been taken up a lot this month by other people. So I haven't really had a lot of time for that. Oh, she uses the dining room table to lay out her squares. That's a good idea. I don't really have a big table anywhere. Well, I do down here, but it's up against the wall. Yeah, hand quilting just amazes me. I, I don't know. I know that there's never going to be a time when I have the patience for hand quilting. I'll just tell you that right now. It's beautiful work. It is. But I was I was thought that should be reserved for those quilting guilds where they all sit around the big uh what do they call that? It's not a loom. It's a what they put the quilt on. 
and and uh, everybody's doing stitching mm -hmm. all together as a group yeah yeah i think that would be cool All right, I got another piece here. Quilting frame, yeah, that's the one. Oh, this is working out just right. I got two more tags and two more pieces of paper. How did I do that? Oh, there you go. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That never happens. Serendipity. Yeah. I'm going to need to start dipping around. Stop dipping around here and get this thing done. I didn't think it was going to take me that long. Yeah, we're just chatting. Sometimes it takes longer than others. I like to have a finished project at the end of the day if I can. It just makes me happy. Yeah. I have a couple more steps I want to do to this after I get these things painted on. Putting it the wrong way down. What is wrong with me? <sighs> you put it upside down? Yes. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Apparently, that's the way it wanted to be. I don't know. Who are you to argue? What, what is my thinking when I do that? just doesn't make any sense. I'm going to have some lovely scraps left over when I get done making all of these. Go in my scrap box. Have you guys seen my scrap box? I have, I have scraps cool everywhere. scrap box. I took one I of those scrap I didn't like. photo boxes and divided it all up into colors my scraps for my collage. Some people are probably wondering, why is she printing on one thing and then gluing it onto something else? Well, number one, I end up with scraps, which is nice to have. Scraps of things that can coordinate with other things that you've done. Um, and, you know, if I printed this on the tag itself, it's not going to look the same as if I'm applying these papers. Um, cause I can pick the section. I can pick the section of that paper that I want to go on to this tag. So that's why I do it that way. Do my very last one. Your chair is squeaky. <laughs> it is. You can hear it, right? You got frogs there. Every time I move, it goes got frogs in your throat and frogs in your chair. Yep, and frogs outside. It's just yep. a froggy world. On a froggy morning. Stop squeaking. That one is still wet. Ah, 
Oh, I need to dry it. How's it coming? Are you getting there? Yeah. So, I wasn't very ambitious today, guys. I, I was telling Shell, I went to physical therapy yesterday. The guy really beat me up. <laughs> it's like, I'm surprised I can use my arm at all today. But here I am. Cutting paper. Peggy says that my chair is talking to her chair. Oh! <laughs> That's what's happening. Are they singing a duet? I'm going to need to ask my, one of my sons to try to fix this. And also help me build a different um, stand for my my overhead camera because I made it out of PVC and the PVC seems to be losing its stiffness, oh. I guess you call it. Yeah. And it's just, it wiggles every time I touch. I noticed that. You were getting yeah. wiggly. Super wiggly. So I need to build it out of something else. And yeah. My son that I asked to help me with it, he's like, well, I'll build it out of metal if you buy me a welder. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> he wants a welder. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I don't have no money for no stinking welder. If I if I had that kind of money, I would just buy a stand. Hello. Yeah. I'm not even sure I could buy one. I don't know if there's somebody out there that has a stand I want. Well, I got this not too long ago, which might work for you. Oops, and I'll try to remember to put a link in. But it's got a it's got a nice base. It's got the uh, tension arm, and then you can put the type of uh, what do they call these? I don't know. You put the type of apparatus on the top that you need for the equipment that you're holding. Well, that looks pretty good. Put put a link in uh, the friend links. Yeah. I um I got that because because I have my iPad and um I had started doing some filming with the iPad and I wanted something to hold that directly over my work. Right. So I saw that and I thought, okay, that should work. And you know, I've also I've all I already had one like this for my phone. So because it just screws in, you can switch it out from your phone to your iPad to your other, you know, like I've got a um, small laptop that's like a 13 inch. Um, so you can switch it out. Yeah, I have a, I have a thing like that, and it, but it's um, on my, it's on a tripod. So yeah. the tripod doesn't lean over my work. Or be above me it only just like it's to the side and i just don't like it at all yeah well that was that was one of the things that i didn't like about the tripod now um they do make tripods that you can take apart and flip over so that you can have it facing downward i'll try i'll try to remember yeah, to but then you have that. legs i don't want the legs yeah that's part of the problem for me is i don't like the legs either i mean even my lights you know, I because I'm up against the wall, it's difficult to get the lights to come in here right. And I'm in a basement, so it, it's always like I'm working in the dark. Okay, Laura, have a good day. Terry's leaving too. Bye. Bye, people. Thanks yeah, they gotta get on other days. I get that. We've only got about fifteen minutes left anyway, so fifteen minutes really? 
Mm -hmm. The thing is, I, I thought for sure I would get this page done. But it's not going to be done. I don't think. 15 minutes. So I'm going to use, I'm going to pick something out of this group that I, I use for my altered tag for uh, the month of August because I've got a nice selection now. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight tags here. So, you know, there ought to be something here that I think will work with the monthly prompts because you know we pick colors and uh, got to have the right colors you so made a variety so come on right. but I kind of stuck to the blue green goldish family for this bat you know on another day I might do the one colors but when I when I print I kind of like to do that go to one side of the color chart or the other speaking of color twos um and let me get my box if you tell them which one you're picking then you're going to give away the challenge yeah i'm not telling them which one i'm picking <laughs> it's a secret it's a secret. I'm being sneaky. Yes, very, very sneaky. And, you know, it's not just the one, it's not just the one prompt. There's a whole lot of prompts there. So this, yeah. is, this is the box I was talking to you guys about. It's um, something that you can pick up at the craft store. And it's a big box. It's... Um, probably 12 by 14 or something like that. But it stores all of those scrap papers for me and it sits on the shelf. So it's kind of nice because in here, I can keep things that I'm gonna use. Like here's, remember when we made those um, washi tapes, our own washi tapes? So here's my own washi tapes that are just in a folder sitting on top. So when I want to grab some washi tape to put on a project, it's ready to roll right here. But then inside the box, I have individual cases. And you can see they're in rainbow here. And so I can pick my uh, colors like my green and my teal and my blue and now i can add those scraps you know i got a lot of scraps today from when i was working so i can take some of these and just add them to my scrap bin here so when i collage i've got these pieces to use My painty papers that are ready to roll. And they're they're in there by color, so I know when I'm looking for a specific color, I can find it. Here's some blue. And then we're not really wasting anything because I've got, you know, I've got all of these things in here with my blue papers ready to roll for collaging. And then I've got some teal here. So this should go in with my teal papers. Yeah, it work, it's working really well for me, you know, and um, I 
that way I'm not piling up a bunch of stuff in a box, which I was doing before and I was having to dig through everything. Now it's neat on the shelf. I can pull it down when I need it and put it away out of sight and um, works for me. I felt like I needed some bling. Well, yeah. These are uh, new flow nail decorations. I like the flowers. I don't do my nails with sparkly things or at all, as you can tell, but these are sure fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. If I have to dig through something, I would just as soon throw that whole batch of stuff away. So to me, this is very manageable because um, it's all contained and I can go to finding just exactly what it is I'm looking for. I have a similar system only my, well, mine isn't in a box, it's on a shelf, but it's uh, sorted by color and I used recycled containers and I stack them up. So there's, you know, red, green, yellow, Dark green. That eats cinnamon rolls. <laughs> yeah. My mom eats many cinnamon rolls, and that's what those are from. They're sturdy, too. They've been holding up with me, opening them and shutting them. That was my worry when I first got them. It's like, well, are these just going to just break when I start to? Because sometimes plastic gets brittle. Yeah. Especially in a dry climate. Oh, well, I hadn't thought about that. I mean, you know, I could see it if the sun was beating on it because plastic doesn't hold up well to sun at all. But no, oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah. We lose our lawn chairs like every other year. Yeah. To get new lawn chairs. UV and plastic, they do not go together. I think I just have one more thing for this. I got this, uh, this sticker. And I'm just going to be done after that. It says dream big, but I'm going to just use the dream part because this mood board seemed very dreamy to me. It was kind of. I'm just going to cut it apart. It was just very soft. I don't know. I must have been in a soft mood. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. Is this a sticker or is it a? Yeah, it's a sticker. All right. So anyway, even though they're color coded, I did put a label on the end of these because some of them are like natural or black and white and i didn't really have the the right color for those so i mean this lets me know what's inside of my container because i still need natural and black and white things oh definitely a lot more than you would expect yeah okay a little bit of shading under this, and I think I'm going to be done because I think we're just about out of time, right? Yeah, I think we're getting there. So, All I right. want to thank everybody for being here with us today. Remember to go over and check out the uh, groups on uh, Facebook if you have not already joined us for our challenges. Please join us, use the hashtags that we provide so that we can find what you're doing. Um, because we like to see what everybody's up to. Definitely. Okay, I guess I'm done. It's done as I'm gonna get. It went a different way than I expected, but <laughs> that's the way journal pages are though, I think. Yeah. I gotta lay these out flat because they're still kind of wet. All right, mood board done. Just in time. Way to go. 
All right. Oh, Barbara, this is a pick-me-up tool. Um, it has sticky stuff on the end, like the like sticky tack that you could put up posters on the end on one side, and on the other side it has a little has a couple little different things. Uh, I guess I'll show you. Um, it has this flat flat picker, and then it has this other pointy picker, and then it has this uh, sticky tack on this end that can pick up sequins and things. Um, it all screws apart. I'm not sure why it does, but it does. Well, I think they used to use those with their uh, die cuts and things too. Um, yeah, I think this is actually from uh, Silhouette. Yeah. Silhouette makes it. Yeah. I mean, they have cheap ones like this too. I mean, this is just what they call a jewel picker. Um, this one's made in Japan. And it's got the tacky stuff on the end too. But that one, I think you can replace the gummy stuff that's inside that little screw end. Yeah, you can buy a replacement for it. I haven't ever done it. But. This one, I think they just tell you to wash it off. It's supposed to, but these are cheap. I still had. A bunch of those other types of tools, but I keep I keep that other stuff over with my die cut stuff. Yeah, for weeding die cuts, that's definitely what it's for. Yeah, uh, because die cuts, if you have little intricate ones, man, they all those little things in the holes don't come out, and then you're like, ah, how do I get them out? That's what it's for. <laughs> all right. I guess we're pretty much done. We've got three more minutes. Does anybody have any questions while we have three more minutes? The scrap chick says that Joanne carries that, Joanne Fabrics carries that tool on a different brand. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, that's a helpful tool. A lot of different brands out there. Um, but if you know what you're looking for, if you just, you know, like Google for, uh, Okay, something's going on with my screen. <laughs> it looks fine on my well, side. Yeah, but I'm, I'm looking at my screen and all I have is the little green thing. <laughs> uh, I've gotten so many notifications this time on this live screen, stream screen. I've uh, had to close it like six times. Different probably things. YouTube messing with us because they're going to be yeah. changing. So we will probably at some point be changing our format, guys, um, just to give you a heads up and warning. But we um, will definitely put all the information out there when we do and, and give you ways of finding us. So, Yeah, go join the uh, Art Joy of Sharing group to make sure that you know about that. Because according to what keeps coming up on my screen, they're taking away this platform on August 1st. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was that soon. That's what it kept saying. Okay, so now we have to change the platform. On a new platform. Yeah. So we okay. made, that means we us old dogs have to learn new tricks. Yeah. Not cool. All right. That's it from us. Thanks for being here, yeah. guys. We'll see you again All soon. Bye-bye, right. everyone. Bye-bye.